Hi there, another quick video on uh, Lightwave 10 VPR. Um, so let's have a look at some other things we can do quickly. Um, go over into uh, Windows, uh, Volumetrics and Fog, and we can turn uh, Fog on. And we can see that Fog does indeed work, so we get Fog in the viewport. That's all great and groovy. Um, also, if I go over to my Surface Editor, and I select this character here, if I go into basics and then go into edit nodes and if I go to uh, edit nodes which is here yip -a -dip -a -dip -doo, you can see that I can connect well you can't see but you'll see me connecting it connect up a uh, car paint shader and that does work so not sure if all the nodes are working but um, a node is definitely working um, or if we go and disconnect that one let's go over here out of the way Disconnect that and go and connect up a delta. If we can grab it, be nice. There we go, try that. Yeah, so that also works. Oh, look, she looks like I've got a beard now. How exciting! <laughs> the bearded lady. There we go. Um, so that's okay. So nodes seem to be working. If I go to my um, surface editor and I disable nodes, so we're getting back to where we were a minute ago. Okay, and go over to shaders. So go to shaders here. If I get my legacy cell shader and put that on, um, that's okay. I've got my cell shading working here. Yeah, if I switch that off, you can tell the difference. Did it without it and with it. Okay, so I can see um, legacy cell shader working in VPR. That's great. Um, if I do choose a sh shader such as BESM, that will um, kill Lightwave, that will knock it over. So um, just be aware that BESM doesn't currently work. I'd imagine they'll sort that out. Um, oh, I've got loads of cell shaders. There you go. How exciting. Um, yep, the other thing uh, Lewis pointed out um, f to get uh, OpenGL wireframe to work, you have to select an object. If you don't have an object, if I'm selecting a, a bone or a light, for instance, then nothing happens in my scene. I can't see anything. If I select um, a camera, I can't see anything. I have to select an object for the uh, wireframe to show up. And it has a few issues currently. It looks okay if I go and select something like um, something like a box. That's fine. Subdivided box. They all seem to be drawing okay in the viewport. And the, the ground plane seems okay. Uh, but this particular character not quite working for some reason. Don't know what's going on with that. Sort of draws and then doesn't draw any polygons that are actually facing you facing the camera seems to be like not happy about that so yeah it sort of works at the moment uh, if we go open geo overlay then um, you actually get your manipulators in the viewport as well so I can uh, rotate boxes and things like that and let that update I'll really not be happy about doing that and uh, rotate that over there and I can go and move it so yeah basically um, Unlike some other preview renderers where you have a um, a separate window and you have to uh, move things around in a normal 3D viewport and then you see the update in your preview rendered viewport, which is like a separate window usually. Um, well, VPR you know is your viewport, um, so quite good. Uh, like I say, there are a couple of drawing issues at the moment uh, on various things, but no major showstoppers I'd say no big deal uh, really because um, when you select something I mean it's you know it's fine you can see what you're selecting here can't you so it's not a big deal and uh, yeah there you go so hardy hardy ho and there you go that's another video and onwards and upwards as they say uh, that'll do that all I need to do now is find the stop button right catch you another day see ya bye